I'm Randall Berg, your concierge yacht broker, and today we're interviewing the captain of the All Seas 92, who's talking about the systems, redundancy, and design philosophy behind this extraordinary all steel expedition yacht. As you can see, it's got incredible electronic systems along with backup mechanical systems. If you're going to travel, this is the boat you want. I'm Randall Burr, your concierge yacht broker. Give me a call. Thank you. Computer that replicates the nav computer upstairs. Mm -hmm. Well, the exciting thing is that you've got all these systems on board. Should something go down, you have plenty of redundancy. Yes, that's really a main feature. There, of this there are no absolute systems. Even steering, steering can be over road. You, you can actually control the rudder right in the lazarette, mm -hmm. which is left and right. Yeah. Stabilizer, same thing. You can go right to the hydraulic controls themselves. Um, I'm sorry, the thrusters, thrust left, thrust right. Should you, whatever, lose control from the bridge, it's easy. Works Tell well. Me again, how the rudder can be replaced in the field? How it's set up? Uh, the rudder is bolted into its blocks on the bottom and at the top and it's designed so that you can take it loose reach back there's an eyelet on the back that you grab it with the crane and then you can slide it out now obviously if you're in the water you're gonna have to get down take the bolts loose and so forth and it's not easy but it can be done mm -hmm. so if it were jammed or something were bad you know you have alternatives good what other systems are like that on board where it's field workable without the necessity of a lot of uh, yard work that you can work on the boat yourself, big stuff. Shaft locks. Mm -hmm. Lose an engine, something goes wrong, you need to work on it. Um, you can shut the engine down, you rotate it into position, the shaft lock will drop down into position and hold the prop still. That allows you to work with whatever you need to. Also, the, um, the drive shaft system on this boat is rather unique. It, the engines, the mains, are soft mounted. They're rubber mounted. We try to reduce noise as best we can. When we're underway, you can feel a low rumble, if you will, of the generator and the mains as we go. But it's not, we can have a conversation like we are now. Highly unusual. Yeah. yeah. Um, reason for that is that the owner specified he wanted to do the uh, rubber U joint type um, coupling mm -hmm. with the engine and so forth, which allowed us to soft mount the engines. Mm -hmm. And then it goes to a set of shear pins is what they really are. They call them torque fuses. Mm -hmm. They're designed for heavy logging trucks and stuff. They get somewhere and it uh, wants to break the drive line. Mm -hmm. uh, they shear 26,500 PSI. We put those in so that should something jam the prop rather than twist up the shaft, the engine, the tranny, and so on, it breaks the pins. It takes seven minutes to replace one. Wow. There's four on each shaft. Wow. It's that simple. And That's they're inexpensive. The of this boat. Yeah, yeah. It, it just and again, you've got the spare pins on board, and the tools to do it. It's all common. Mm -hmm. Doesn't take a, a scientist to do it. I love the anchoring system. The massive, heavy commercial anchoring system. Uh, that's a Pilkingtons out of, I believe, it's Vancouver, British Columbia. They are uh, for the tugs, the fishing boats, and so forth. They are not pretty as you would find on the Italian Tupperware type yachts and so forth. Um, either one of them will actually pull the 180 ton boat. They're that strong. Uh, there is 90 feet, 90 feet of the three quarter inch chain that goes to 200 feet of the half inch chain and then there's 300, 300 or 400 feet of the stainless cable that goes with it. That's mm. the forward. On the stern anchor, there's 200 feet of the half inch chain and I think three or 400 feet of the stainless cable. And you operate them by hand right from there. Mm. You just throw the hydraulics into gear and let it go. They're strong. There's no chain locker. There's no rotting in between, you know. Mm -hmm. It's and What kind of anchor do you have? You know, I don't know. A big guy, very A big. Big one <laughs> and gray. <laughs> <laughs> and heavy. I've had to we'll clean figure it. that one out next. Yeah. <laughs> and you have full access to the fore deck right from your two helm pilot house doors, port and starboard doors. Is that right? You walk right up to the fore deck. Absolutely. And you can take the remote control with you that That's drives not the boat. The Portuguese, though, this isn't really the Portuguese, Portuguese bridge. Is the piece in front? It's got right. the cabinetry and stowage in it. Uh, more or less a wave deflector. Portuguese, not Portuguese. Portuguese. Either way. Okay. <laughs> when I was in Portugal, I got corrected. 
I got slapped and then I got corrected. But anyway, yeah. But that's where that is. And you can you can walk out with this 50 foot line on the remote. Walk out to the wings and watch yourself dock so you can actually see what you're doing. It will go all the way to the back of the boat deck, not the bottom, the boat deck, so that you can see as you're backing up. And you've got your thruster controls, you've got your engine controls, and you've got your home control. Well, what I found is the bridge is pushed so far forward, you have spectacular visibility. Unlike most tie-in boats and most yachts, you have no visibility from the helm. This has spectacular visibility. All the way around. You, you have to get up and walk around behind the sky lounge to see aft, mm -hmm. but you can see all the way, mm -hmm. four to seven. And a full walkway all the way around, high gunnels. All the way around, rails. rails all the way around. They're stainless rails. Yeah. They're not lightweight. They're full-size, what are the 10 gauge, eighth inch wall. Mm -hmm. They're heavy. And they're welded on. They're not pinned in. They're not they're no, they're not West Marine. <laughs> they're heavy, and they work well. Uh, I was the, just on a client's boat, and we leaned against the rail, and it bent. <laughs> and it's like, you're not going to use this rail. It just looks for hanging lights on and flags. <laughs> when we were putting the rails on, yes, the stern here, the aft deck, and I was helping out, and I'm holding it in place, mm -hmm. and my, my bounding bolt at the time that's holding it until they could weld it, dropped loose and it flung me flung me off the back hmm. it's it's heavy wow uh, great. on the bridge the uh, windshield if you will the windows are all leaning forward and they are practically bulletproof in fact a 30 cal won't penetrate them hmm. uh, a 50 will but anyway they lean forward um, that's the bearing C design that's made oh, for like rough some, weather like some windows no, they're glass. Okay. They're glass. And they're yeah, the they safety glass and they're double paned. Yeah, okay. And uh, they're over a half inch thick on the very front ones. Wow. And then the rest of them, as you see them, are double paned half. It's serious. It's serious. Uh, we've taken waves over the side. No effect. Hold on just a second. The boat was designed to the owner's spec. And he wanted a boat that would go anywhere. Mm -hmm. And I mean anywhere. And that's what we built him. This is um, the type of boat is based on a Trachi hull design, if I'm not mistaken, that's steel. And um, it's based on the experience we got building fishing boats that have been all the way to Nome, Dutch Harbor, all over the Bering Sea. And it was designed to cross any of the oceans anywhere. So the design philosophy of the All Seas 92 is go any place, anytime, anywhere with total res system redundancy analog backing up the digital systems fully field configurable all soft controls soft electronics just an amazing boat and if you're thinking of going on an expedition long range travel the all seas 92 should definitely be on the top of your list i'm randall Bird. give me a call i'll be glad to get you on board and tell you all about it thank you mm -hmm.